Hello student, this is your teacher Sulochna Das. Welcome you back for the second part of our first chapter that is historiography development in the West. Student, in the previous video we have discussed about tradition of historiography, modern historiography, development of scientific perspective in Europe and historiography. In this video, let us have a look at the contribution of few notable scholars who played a very important role in the development of historiography. So let's start with the first scholar that is René Descartes. René Descartes was a French historian. He was born on 1596 and died on 1650. He insisted that it is important to verify the reliability of historical sources, especially historical documents, by critical examination. By this he means that we should not blindly trust any historical document without verifying with other sources or relevant documents. He wrote a book, Discourse on the Method, in which he has mentioned some rules that had a great impact on the scientific method. He has said that never to accept anything for true till all the ground of doubts are excluded. That is, accept nothing as true that is not self-evident or accept as true only what is undoubtable. Now move on to next scholar that is Voltaire. His original name was Francois Marie Arvet. He was also a French national. According to Voltaire, it was important to consider the following aspects while writing history. That is, objective truth and chronology, prevalent social tradition, agriculture, trade and economic system. He opined that in history, the focus should not only on the objective truth or chronology of historical event, but also on the prevalent social tradition, trade, economy, agriculture. By this he means that while studying any event, we should also study what was the economic condition of the people during that period and what trade they were engaged, what were the agriculture products were produced during that time, etc. It was because of his views that understanding all aspects of human life was considered important for history writing. Hence, he is rightly said to be the founder of modern historiography. The next philosopher, George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. He was born on 1770 and died on 1831. He was a German philosopher. He insisted that the historical reality should be presented in a logical manner. He believed in chronology of event. The order or timeline of historical event are indicative of progress. It means timeline shows how mankind have made progress in the past. He also thought that the presentation of history is bound to change over time as a new evidence would come forth. For example, before the discovery of Indus Valley Civilization, historian believed that India's history began in 2nd millennium BCE when Aryan migrated into the Indian subcontinent. But with the discovery of Harappa in 1920, the timeline for India's history was pushed back over 1000 years that is 3rd millennium BC or even earlier. With Hegel philosophy many scholars were convinced that historical methods were not of lesser quality though they differ from scientific method. By this he means no, no doubt that scientific methods are important but historical methods were also not less valuable. Collection of 
his lectures and article is published in a book entitled Encyclopedia of Philosophical Science. His book Reason in History is well known. Hegel's Theory George Hegel proposed theory of dialectic. According to him, understanding the meaning of any event happen in terms of two direct opposite. Human mind cannot understand the real nature of any event without understanding its opposite. To understand any event, it has to be classified into two opposite categories, for example, true, false, good, bad. If any thesis is proposed, we have to present opposite thesis to prove it wrong. The contrasting thesis is known as antithesis. A thorough logical discussion follows and after weighing both the thesis, a new thesis is proposed which include just of both the thesis and antithesis. If we do not do this, the human mind will not be able to analyze this properly. In short, after discussing two contrasting theses, we arrive at a new thesis is called synthesis. Now we move on to our next scholar that is Leopold von Ranke. He was born on 1795 and died on 1886. He was a German philosopher. He spoke about the critical method of historical research. He put emphasis on the utmost importance of information gathered through original document. He also stated that all types of documents related with the historical event should be examined minutely with great care. He believed that it was possible to reach the historical truth with this method. He criticized imaginative narration of historical events. Historiography of 19th century was greatly influenced by the thought of Leopold von Ranke of Berlin University. Collection of his article is published in two books entitled The Theory and Practice of History and The Secret of World History. Now next we move on to our next scholar, Karl Marx. Karl Marx was a German thinker in 19th century. According to him, history was not about abstract ideas but about leaving people. Administration based on his ideas was first established in Russia. According to him, human relationship are based on basic needs of people, various means of production which help to fulfill those needs and people who control those means of production. The basic needs of people is food, clothing and shelter. Availability of means of production may not be equal to different strata of the society. This inequality divides the society into classes, rich and poor, which leads to class struggle. According to Karl Marx, class that owns or control the means of production economically exploit the rest of the classes. His theory of class struggle is considered to be very important all over the world. He wrote the world famous treatise that is Thus, capital. Next, we move to European historiography. At the dawn of 20th century, the writing of history got a new direction. Along with the political event, kings, great leaders, the study of climate, local people, agriculture, trade, technology, means of communication, social division, psychology, of a group was considered important in the study of history. This new school of thought is known as annal school. Annal means year by year record of any event. Any event 
should be studied in the light of not only the political system in those time but also of a prevalent social and economic system hanel school was started by french historian the writing of simon d beauvoir helped in establishing the fundamental of feminism she was a french national feminist historiography means restructuring of history from the perspective of women the feminist historiography emphasized not only on the inclusion of women in history but also on rethinking of male dominated perspective of history it drove historical research to focus in the depth on various aspect of women life such as their employment their role in trade union institution working for their cause their family life etc in historical writing after 1990 women were portrayed as an independent social class now the next scholar is michel focal he was born on 1926 and died on 1984 he was a french national according to michel focal the prevailing method of arranging historical event in a chronological order was not right he threw light on the fact that archaeology does not strive to reach the ultimate historical truth but attempts to explain various transaction in the past focal gave more importance for explaining the tra- transaction in history hence his method is called archaeology of knowledge he acknowledged that subject such as science of medicine psychological disorder prison administration are valid for historical analysis so student we have studied in this lesson about the scope of historiography kept continuously expanding writing of stories of various subjects like literature architecture sculpture drawing and painting music dance drama films and television etc came into practice thank you